Well, hello there, Tom Green coming back at you with some Adobe XD goodness. And today's goodness comes to you courtesy of Adobe. The wizards at XD have a wonderful little Twitter channel where they post these gifts. And every now and then I'll take a look at one and go, I didn't know that. And that actually is what happened the other day when I saw one posted by one of the wizards, Elaine Chow, around converting text to vectors. And I thought, well, that's pretty neat. So what can I do with it? So here we go. So to get ourselves started, uh, what I want to do is just uh, come over here, get the selection tool. And I'm going to select the text. You can tell it's text because immediately the text properties light up in the properties panel and you got the single dot here. Now to convert text to a graphic or a vector, all you have to do is go to the object menu, path, convert to path. And you can see it's immediately a path because it's got the handles around the, the block. Now the other thing that you need to know about this is that once you do this, it's non-editable. So if you've got a typo in there, you're going to have to start all over. So how do you get at the individual letters? Well, what you do is you double click and you can see there are all the vector points. Now, the one thing I don't like about this is the fact that there are just so many vector points. And unlike Illustrator, you can't clean them up. But that's neither here nor there because this is really at its essence prototyping software. So I'm not too terribly concerned about the overuse of vector points. Now to add a point or to play with a point, all you do is you just grab it and you notice that you can pull it down and uh, otherwise manipulate the text. And if you double click a point, you notice that you can treat it just like any other vector, which I think is kind of a neat little uh, feature. So one of the things that you can really do that I think is uh, totally cool is you can use now use this vector object as a mask. So you can now create text mask. And here's how you can do that. So I'm just going to pop over to my finder here. There's an image I want to use, gold lilies, and you just drag it on top. And you'll notice that it's going to go in as the fill. And the reason for that is, or how you can tell is, is that it sort of becomes a little faint and there's those blue lines around it. And if you let go, there you go. There's your text mask. Okay, I'm going to undo that. The other uh, thing you can do, of course, is you can just change the fill. So if you want to turn it to Adobe Red, knock yourself out. Okay, so there you go. There's uh, creating vectors from text. Basically, you just go up to the object menu, choose path, convert to path, and you now have your text converted to vectors.